I have Nikolai from Braggy. Thank you. Happy to be here. Yeah, welcome. Um, founder, co-founder, and CEO. Fa founder and CEO. Yep. So um, you guys, a few years ago, I think it was at CES, announced your first product, the Braggy Dash. Um, talk about that a little bit. Well, in 14, we announced the Dash on, on Kickstarter, but we actually had the first review with Engadget at, mm -hmm. at CES in 15. And uh, that just changed not just my life, but also an entire industry. Um, a flurry of products coming out after we've shown what we did. Uh, funny thing was, many of those companies said that it was a stupid idea right. when I showed it to you. Many of us at Engadget were skeptical. <laughs> uh, well, some of you weren't, and I'm happy for that support. <laughs> well, yeah, so the Dash was... Um one of the first, if not the first, I believe it was the first. It was the first, yeah. True wireless earbud. Um, and now, everybody, Sony, Bose, b &O, all the big names have true wireless earbuds. How does that make you feel? Well, in China, they say that it's the um, highest uh, s signal of respect if someone copies you. Right. So I'm Chinesely proud. <laughs> So, a lot of those companies are doing true wireless earbuds, but there are some things that make your products much different from those. Well, from the get-go, we, um, we thought we wanted to, to revolutionize audible computing. Uh, now, headphones haven't changed much in the past, ever since they were invented. Right. Piece of cable, speaker, a microphone, that was the top level inno innovation. Now, we've seen a huge development from the like dial rotary phone to a smartphone. Right. But that had happened, had, has not happened with the headphones. Correct, yep. And we communicate by, by voice and by audio all the time. So we wanted to make this computer in the air. We, we've built an operating system, uh, embedded AI that runs on the device. And we really pushed this to Kickstarter as a kind of development platform uh, to develop this software infrastructure. So uh, we pretty much compare the, that this is a, more like a, a computer, mm -hmm. while the others are more like typewriters. Right. So some of those features are things like uh, tapping on your cheek to uh, answer a phone call. Or well, that, that's one of them. So there's a suite of natural user, user interaction. Right. So you can, uh, if, if you receive a call, you can nod and it picks up the call. Mm -hmm. You shake your head. Uh, there's a virtual menu, like much like on the VR systems, right. but in audio, mm -hmm. and everything is maintained from the device. So all of that interaction without having to reach up and actually tap the earbud. Absolutely. So you can start with Alexa with a with a few gestures from your head. And all of those customizable uh, the, through your software. Yes, you can choose. Well, some of them they, you choose what you want it to do, while other ones are strictly for one thing. And currently, there are three. You have three models: yes. uh, the Dash, the Dash Pro, and the headphone. Yes. Um, what What are you sort of? Uh, what's your goal there with those three three different models? Well, back when we made the headphone, it was still one of the first headphones out there that was right. true wireless, and it, it doesn't have the smarts. It doesn't have the capabilities of of a, of a Dash Pro or Dash. Uh, Dash Pro and Dash, we can update through software. We can give it new features. Uh, we've given it translation back in May as the first company did that with, with earbuds. We gave it Amazon Alexa back in October. Um, and we've done many other things where it's just updating. While the headphone is much like the Bang Olufsen's and the Jabra's and this other stuff out there. So, so we really wanted to see how people interact this is, uh, with the device. And we see there's a huge difference in usage between a dash or a headphone. It's a very different type of product. And at CES this year, uh, your big news was that um, Project Ears, that you're moving into uh, assisted audio and helping people hear better on well, top of consuming content. Well, it's about extending what a dash can do. Right. Um, physically, from a hardware perspective, it is the same thing. Um, but we think that 
that not one or two people hear the same. It's much like glasses. We don't have glasses for the ears. So Project Ears was, was a concept of glasses for the ears, but predominantly focusing on the people that have tinnitus. There's 20 million Americans that have tinnitus, 2 million that have tinnitus in such a bad state that they're disabled. And we thought that we could uh, modify our software, but also the service levels, but predominantly the software, so that these people could be helped. So the hardware, mostly the same. It's completely the same. It's a computer. Like, you don't shift the hardware if you're running Word or Excel. Right, right. It's, it's just a different program. And will that uh, feature set offer the same customization that you can get in the Dash or Dash Pro? Initially, we've made a choice that we take many of the features out. Um, it's a very sophisticated product, but it needs to be simple. Right. Plug it into years, it works. So the music features, the embedded storage, and many of the tracking features have been taken out. Like in Word, you don't need tables. In Excel, you don't need pictures. Right. So we've, we've optimized it for a user experience, for the occasional use to mitigate tinnitus or to get enhanced hearing. And you've also partnered uh, with, you have a partner on Project Ears. Can you uh, talk a little bit about that? We've partnered with a German company. They're a leader in personalized uh, profiling of ears. Okay. Uh, if you do the, the trial, you see that your right and left ear actually hears differently. Mm -hmm. We talk about normalized hearing, but no one has normalized hearing. You have enhanced senses and you have areas where you don't hear that well. So you really want to normalize that and ensure that you have a like a, like glasses for your ears. So I assume there will be like a hearing test given, and then you sort of uh, customize the dash to your particular needs as an individual. Absolutely, you place them in the ears. There's a voice guiding you through a, like a setup. Mm -hmm. You get eight sweeps right and left ear. And by that, it automatically, or automatically adjusts to your hearing and enhances in the spaces. On the tinnitus side, you uh, place a finger on the ear, you move your head to adjust to that frequency where you are, are having your tinnitus. On top of the hearing, uh, hearing ass assistive hearing, um, is there something more for like uh, regular consumers or mainstream that you're looking to do? Or are you pretty much focused on Project Ears for right now? No, Project Ears is part of a, an approach. We're all unique, mm -hmm. and we want to make our products adopt to that person. And um, later this year, most probably in Q2, we will also launch a personalized music onto the Dash. So everyone who has a Dash or Dash Pro can download an update you can do the same ear print as you would do with an enhanced hearing device, so eight different tones, and it would measure your hearing and adopt the, the music to you that you did, can hear it like the sound producer intended it to be played. So it'll basically be a, a unique sound profile for each person. Yes, it's, it's like a tailored suit, now it's tailored music. And I guess my last question would be, you know, just like you guys were first in the true wireless earbuds. Uh, now you're moving into Project Ears and uh, the assisted audio. Is, do you think the entire sort of ind headphone industry is going that way? Or, you know, early adopters are going to go in first, kind of like you did last time? Well, I, I think that we, we were part of creating a space that became very popular. Right. But the space for us is not just true wireless headphones. Actually, the true wireless came as a byproduct. It was not the original intent. Mm -hmm. If you have sensors in your ears that understand what you do and how you feel, you can't pull a cable behind the neck because the sensor data is ruined. Right. So the real objective was to be completely free without cables, ruining your experience and the sensor data. That's why we made them true wireless. What we're making is, is computers for the body and computers for the ear. And you'll see us expanding, making computers that enable and protect you. All right. Well, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, stay tuned for more from the Engadget stage this afternoon, including the Best of CES Awards later tonight.